Get ready to match the star. Star pitcher for the L.A. Dodgers, Don Sutton. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Patty Dugaston. Richard Dawson. And Betty White. As we play the star-studded big money match game 78. And now, star of match game 78, Gene Raider. Thank you for joining us for a second. Who's in person going through the dressing room? Uh-huh. All right, let's frisk him and see what he's got on him. Let's just frisk him. This is Roger Dockwood. Pull the hairs out of his chest. <laughs> see how straight. Oh, you're going to do the trick where you take his underwear off without removing his shirt. Right. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Almost hard. Roger, you're a wonderful sport. <laughs> yeah, you know you get sixty-two dollars. How much is it? Sixty-two dollars for appearing on camera. Oh, they yeah. Give me oh. thirty-one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Roger, doctor. Well, now, would the. <laughs> <laughs> we just started. How can we speed up already? Oh no, she uses that at home with Alan. I see. <laughs> now, would the loonies like to meet the people who are less sane than we are? Patty Campbell and Carol Martinez. Now, this little lady here has won a bundle of money, $6,200. She's the current champ. And now she's going to be challenged by a lady we are meeting for the first time, Carol Martinez. Hello. Would you say who you are? Now, I know you're Carol Martinez, right. but I mean where you're from, if you're married or if you're fooled around, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I am married and I have two children. And I'm a well, you have been fooling around then. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm a customer service representative for a bank. You are? Yes. Is that interesting mm -hmm. work? Very interesting. Do people ever give you a hard time? Uh, occasionally. Yes, and you smile at them. That's right. And you make everything life yes, pleasant for them. Right. That's nice. Okay, good luck to both of you ladies. We'll begin right after we do a little business with you. Now, here we go. Round one it is, Carol. You have the choice of A or B. I'll take A, please. Carol wants A, and this is what it says. Harry said, the American dollar is in really bad trouble. Yesterday, I saw a crisp new bill that said, in blank, we trust. <laughs> the American dollar is really in trouble. Yesterday, I saw a crisp new bill that said, in blank, we trust. You do understand, of course. I'm not sure. Having just visited mainland China, I can point out to you that one dollar is equal to a dollar sixty yuan. That's Y-U-A-N. And uh, 100 American dollars equals 459 Hong Kong dollars. Well, that is very interesting. Isn't that fascinating? And should it ever come up, we'll be able to just answer those questions. Right. I can't make change. <laughs> All right, Carol. <laughs> Harry said the American dollar is in really bad trouble. Yesterday, I saw a crisp new bill that said, in blank, we trust. I would say in no one. In no one we trust. I think that's a good answer. Don't owe her until I tell you to owe her. She said, in no one we trust. What do you say? In Richard Nixon we trust. In Richard Nixon. That's a heap of trouble. Yes? Isn't that how we got here in the first place? Yes. Now, this may be a match. You just... Stick to your own guns. You smell like coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> I said in nothing we trust. That's nothing. sort of close to no one. Yes, it? there it is. Nothing and no one. <laughs> what do you say there? In Cal Worthington. <laughs> 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 
Cal Worthington, for those of you who do not live in the California area, Cal Worthington is a guy who comes out there and he says, now I'm going to sell you a used car. And I'm going to give you the biggest buy you ever had in your life. And here, look at over here, we got a 1957 Dodge. You never saw a better car than that in your life. And over here, we got a Plymouth. And over here, we got a 1957 Dodge. You're going to buy one of these cars. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, you said it, in, uh, it now says in God we trust. So yeah. I thought the, uh, I mean, you know, it was the opposite. The devil. The devil I saw oh, Chris Newbill really said to. in the devil we trust. Well, That's in the devil. Well, I'm in a little more trouble oh, tonight. Shoot. I said in Burt Lance. Yeah. In Burt Lance we trust. <laughs> I do believe I get the subtleties and of that. Lady in black. What do you say, lady in now, black? For those of you who I'm playing the death scene now. For those of you who who uh, don't live who live in Sucha or Cut, Ming Chao, take two. Let's try this. <laughs> Las Vegas. Las we Vegas. Trust. That's a small village. Just yeah. you, Bill. It said in Las Vegas we trust. Horrible translation. Uh -huh. Thank you, dear. Yes, I, I love you in black. Girl. Yes. Thank the you. The lady in black. You love me in front. She makes oh, black. Yeah. Jumping in the. Uh -huh. What? I love that. Sure. Here we go. Ready, Patty. Yeah. This is yours. Carol Martinez picked up one in hers. Or did she? Awesome. Yes. Teddy said, My neighborhood was so tough. My father had a job as a tail gunner on a blank. That's how tough my neighborhood was. So tough. My father had a job as a tail gunner on a blank. This is a wonderful question. I don't care what anybody says. Sure it is. My neighborhood was so tough, my father had a job as a tail gunner on a blank. What's the score? Which one should I take? Neither. They're both good. No, they're both good. It's up to you. I cannot help in any way. Wonderful. That means it's awful. Whenever yes, you say that, I know. That's terrific. All right, Patty, we're ready for you. <laughs> Teddy said, my neighborhood was so tough, my father had a job as a tail gunner on a blank. School bus? Tail gunner on oh, a school bus. Oh, tongue. Or your lip. Tail gunner on a school bus, she said. What do you say? In the two or three times that I've done this show, yep. and in the answers that I've heard, I think that is probably one of the very best I have ever, I, in, in my life, school bus. This school bus <laughs> One school bus. Okay. One for her. The lady in black, she makes her living by lying on her back. A da -da -da -da. I don't want to hear any more of that. Black limo. A black limo. Limo, you and Limousine. Limousine. Father was so tough he had a job as a tail gunner in a black limousine, all right. You heard of the mafia and all that stuff, or haven't oh, you heard of that? Oh, I didn't was it know. Was too it. subtle for you, huh? Yes, it was. I really oh. didn't understand it until you used the word mafia. What do you say? They left her on the deck too long at the <laughs> taping of Love Boat. <laughs> I don't know. I said an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck. That's all right. White and black limousine is terrible. No, I I retract. Black limousine was excellent. Ice cream truck was excellent. My father was so tough. The neighborhood was so tough. My father had a job as a tail gunner on a garbage truck. Garbage truck. That's a good one. We're talking about losing answer. It's all right. Well, the, the job there is for her to match you. You see, right, Richard? Yes, she's done that. Ira will love this. Oh, He'll be so proud of me. Yes. Bus. Bus. Hold it. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait a minute. A bus. Now, I didn't Ding. say whether it went to school or not. There's no educated bus or non-educated. Bus, I see. Now, let right. me hear Ding. 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 Yeah. Ding. All right. Okay. Yeah. He appeals to me. A judge <laughs> who will take an appeal. Thank you. Change it. No, I'm sorry. No, it's tried. No, it's not too late. What are you, you going to argue with us, Betty? No, I don't think I understood the question. I, my father was a tail gunner on a skateboard. No, that's not... Uh, <laughs> tail gunner on a skateboard, no, eh? It's not beginning to go. <laughs> Round one, score is two to one. Favor the champ. Round two after this. Oh, hello there. Here we go. Round two. Final round, Carol, A or B? I'll take A again, please. A... 
Now, you match one person, that was Brett. The rest of you, please respond to this. Bill said, I saw a very strange listing in the yellow pages. It said, the oldest trick in the book. And that was it. It was an ad. Look at me. Didn't you get it was an ad made? for a 87-year-old blank. <laughs> you understand? Bill said, I saw a very strange listing in the yellow pages. It said, the oldest trick in the book. It was an ad for an 87-year-old blank. Adorable. Adorable. Right. Bob isn't playing, but he's supposed to be. Charles, write an answer, if you please. Okay. Play? You know, just don't start. Write that, honey. Let it go with that. And then everything will be. Just put that in your little slot and call it a day. You're all nuts. Okay. <laughs> I'll start doing it slowly while they're finishing writing because I think they all have ideas. Bill said, I saw a very strange listing in the yellow pages. It said, the oldest trick in the book. And it was an ad for an 87 year old blank. Lady of the evening. Lady of the evening. Evening, what lady of the day? evening. What's what that? What if she worked days? She worked days? What if she worked days? Well, then I don't know. I guess she. I be... have lady of the p.m., the a.m., the nooner, or <laughs> lady of the p.m. or a.m. or nooner. <laughs> so that's one I for have her. the ad in the book. <laughs> you know, you... <laughs> she had a good agent. I said a hooker in orthopedic wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> a hooker in orthopedic wedgies. Dear me. An 87 year old hooker in orthopedic wedgies. What do you say? You have made me crazy, all of you, all week. Hooker! Hooker! Boy, now four to two. Yeah. Richard, do you have an answer you'd like to contribute? Refunds gladly made. Yes, hooker. Hooker! No. Almost complete satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> What do you say there? When she retired, would she be an unhooker? I don't know. Yeah. Lady of the evening. Oh. Lady of the evening. Well, there it is. Got all six. Now you got to go something to catch up with her. And what you have to do is match four to achieve a tie. And that's the best you can do, Patty. Here it is. George said... <laughs> do that again. The lady. Oh. Well, it's a television show. Happy baby. Baby. What, is that? what was that old radio show? Strange. Suspense. It's it's like a squeaky yeah. door backstage yeah. we just heard George said It's really rained a lot here in Los Angeles In fact, my house slid so far down the hill I've got a new blank <laughs> That's how hard it rained here in Los Angeles My house slid so far down the hill I've got a new blank This is funny to some people But to some it's not no, to some it's very sad and very, terrible. Very, very sad, tragic events have occurred here with all of this rain. You're not going to be too tuckered out from your trip to China to go I to Encino, I, are you? I, I think I am. Can I pass tonight? Boy, am I going to be blanked off. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question, hon? It rained a lot here. In fact, it rained so hard in Los Angeles, my house slid so far down the hill, I've got a new blank. Are you oh, ready? Got it. Yeah. Everything great. okay? Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Just give me a little pat on the back because I love you. <laughs> Did it with one hand. Yep. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, Patty Campbell. George said it's really rained a lot here in Los Angeles. In fact, my house slid so far down the hill I've got a new blank. Front yard. A new front yard. Oh. Oh. I think maybe they went a little further than that here. Brett, what'd you say? I said, I said, I got a new address. A new address. So that means Carol wins the game. What the rest of you have? Zip code, neighbor. Okay, come on down. Well, Patty Campbell is leaving here a rich lady with a grand total of six thousand two hundred dollars. Congratulations to you. Goodbye. Now we'll spin her off and spin a message for you. Yes, Hello there. Here we go. Linda Perry, first, first game she's won. All she has is $100, but she could win a real big bundle here if she is skillful and has a little luck. Let's go. 
We polled the studio audience, said write down your best answer to this. Get on blank. $500 for you if you match the answer they gave most often. For matching the second most popular response, $250. And then for matching the bottom one, $100. So you can't strike out all together here. Let's see what you'll do with our celebrities. Richard. Get on with it. Get on with it. Uh, Charles. Get on board. Get on board. And Betty. Betty. Get on the bandwagon. Get on the bandwagon. So get on the bandwagon. Get get with it and get on board. Now remember, you can choose one of those or reject them all and give us one of your own. What, What would you like to do? I'd like to say get on board. Get on board. That's the answer that Charles gave you. Well, let's get on down and see what we're going to find over here. Oh, you are a whiz. Yes. Whoops. Get on down there. Get on up there. May we see the $100 number? Get on board. You've got it right off the bat. All right. What do we got under the next one, if you please? Get on the ball. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Get on. Is that what you meant? You didn't think of that. Get on the stick. What do you think is going to be in a big one? Get on down? They don't know. Kind of undecided. All right, slide it. Get with it. Bravo! All right. Now you got $100. You're going to play for 10 times that amount or $1,000. You can still pick that up if you'll match one celebrity. Richard, please. Okay, here we go. Good luck to you. Worth $1,000 says, behind the blank. Behind the blank. Behind the blank. All right, now think about it for a second. Give us the answer that matches Richard's. We give you $1,000. Behind the... The only thing I can think of is behind the Iron Curtain. Behind the Iron Curtain. Well, that's a very popular phrase and has been for a good many years. What do you say, Richard? Did yeah, you think of behind... Good. I thought of that, but I also thought of behind the eight ball. That's... Oh, you did. We thought of that. That's... Chairman Mao said, yeah. if you don't say behind the Iron Curtain, you, you end get up behind the eight, eight ball. ball. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the way it is. Of course, he's sir. dead now. Something so the like that. Listen, Wendy, you got $200. You're going to meet another player. You ready for that? Yes. Let's bring on Ed White. Here comes Ed White. Oh. All right. Fine. Good. You know this lady? Now, we welcome you. Want to find out a little bit about you before we begin? Tell us where you're from or anything you could care to contribute. I'm from the large town of Pinckney, Michigan. Who? Pinckney, Michigan. Pinckney, Michigan. And, okay. Uh, I make my living getting beat up. I'm a professional wrestler. You're a wrestler? Yes. No kidding. Where do you do that? All over the country? All over, yeah. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Uh, about 280. 280. Would you stand up for a second? Kimo Sabi. Yeah. Friend. I can floor him two out of three. How much money would you like to win? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you put on a show or do you really do this for real? <laughs> a little of each. A little of each. Little of each. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Bad guy. Bad You're guy? the bad guy, really? What, do you work under that name, Ed White, or no. do you have another name? No. What do you call it, like the mass destroyer? or something? Several things. Well, give us one. <laughs> tell us one, I'll tell you if I know you. Uh, the spoiler. The spoiler? I've heard of the spoiler, yeah. It kills your food. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down there, old bean. Well, we're glad to have you here. Do you get a chance to watch this show often? I mean, you know how it goes and all that? Sure. You do? All right. All right. We wish you the very best of luck. We can't start right now because we've got a little wrestling match backstage we're going to stage here. But we will get to you later right now, Ben. Here. Oh, well, thank you. It's been and having you. really enjoyed it. And some of you will return next time, and oh. I'm sorry to say that some of you will well, not name return. names. All right. I will name the names too. right now of those who will be here next time. Bill Anderson. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Lovett. 
J.D. Clark, Richard Dawson, and Marsha Wallace. I'm Gene Rayburn. Join us next time for Match Game 78. GSN. The business. We're going to build a company around this. The future. The person in the White House will have played Mario Brothers. Video Game Invasion, hosted by Tony Hawk, premiering Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Tonight, it's Gimme Game Thursday. At 9, it's Match Game. At 9.30, Lingo. Then, on GSN at 10, it's Kenny versus Spenny. Don't miss the premiere episode when the competition between two best friends kicks oh, off. Go. Find out who can stay awake the longest. No cheating. No cheating. Will it be Kenny or Spenny? I'm, uh, I'm losing it. At 9, it's Match Game, followed by Lingo. Then at 10, Kenny versus Spenny. Only on GSM, the network for games.